We'll call this work session Monday, February 19th to order. Invocation given by Logan Campbell and the Pledge of Allegiance by Jet Campbell. God, thank you for bringing us together today. I pray over this meeting tonight. Give the council members wisdom and guidance to make decisions before them. In your name we pray, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First thing tonight is to present a life saving award. Chief Labor. Swift actions and ability to communicate with the troubled female most certainly saved her life. Officer Parker Hender has demonstrated courage, professionalism, and compassion with his immediate actions and saved a life that may have otherwise perished. Thank you for your service. Uh, number two tonight, discuss the, discuss the budget amendment to repair the water leak at the solid waste office. Uh, Mr. Lebel couldn't be here tonight. I'll go over this. This is We went over it at the SWDA meeting last week. Um, this is $6,500 we'll be looking at for the repair. So anyone have any questions? Uh, uh, Mr. President, yes. uh, Mr. Lebel sent me a text concerning this. He said the leak is under the building. I had the leak located and it's in front of the billing desk, which is tile and concrete. This will allow us to reroute the cold water to two bathrooms and kitchen area. Hot water will remain under concrete and will be re revisited and when, it, and when and if we have an issue with it. Okay. Any other questions or comments on this? If not, we'll move this to next week's meeting then. All right, number three, discuss appraisal for purchase of property. Uh, Mayor, you wanna go over this? Uh, yes, Mr. President, do we have an opportunity to uh, acquire some property for addition, and uh, this is to uh, provide an appraisal for that property. Okay. I believe you spoke with each person individually on the property. Yes, I have. And we, of course, we don't go over the property addresses at this meeting for obvious reasons. So anyone have any questions besides that on this? No questions, we'll move that appraisal to next week's meeting. Number four, discuss equipment needs for the recreation department. Uh, Mr. Wood. Uh, 
strength to finish up our tennis courts and then padding for the backstops that Brenda mentioned. That there's kind of a couple of reasons for that. One of the main ones is a safety issue. Most places you don't see that much brick exposed, so this padding will cover that entire brick up all four of those stairs. And that's where most of the expenditures is. Uh, $33,000 for all the padding. The other three categories, uh, it all adds up to about 50 to 87 for what the, the total was. So we just asked for right at 59,000, but we can get to 58 to 70 if you need a specific number. Anyone have questions on this? Yes, I do. Okay. Are there temporary fences or for that? So at the softball field, there are 350 foot fields, and our six year olds and eight year olds play there. And okay. It's to, to kind of prevent balls from going and people could run three times around the bases if they hit it far enough. So it just, it just makes a smaller field, is all it does. Gotcha. And we have posts that go about every 10 feet uh, in an arc around the field, and if the water those are busted, and several of them are, are kind of barely hanging on. They're good for about five years. How are you doing on the shade sales for um, for pop-ups on um, Bonnie Field? Right now, like I said, we, we've quoted some of those. Um, they're not as part of this specific ask, but there's quite a few things that we could fill. Well, you know Veterans needs it too, mm -hmm. as well as Bonnie. Mm -hmm. um, Bonnie definitely needs it a little bit more. But this is mostly just stuff to kind of get us to, to playable for the summer. Um, and then we can, we can discuss it again if y'all want to redo this. I know we talked about But I th <clears throat> I'm sorry. Go ahead. So what's the holdup on the shade sales? It's yes, been it's like fine. three years. Uh, we talked about it a few different times. I uh, just haven't put together a. Um, I'm gonna put together the backstop agenda during the during our budget session. Um, but we can have those if you want those outside the budget session. Then that would be I, I'm just I'm just saying that to say that I received a lot of complaints from people getting hit with balls and then it's dangerous and it's not just the heat it's more or less the, the pop-ups that uh, happen a lot and they happen at the veterans too when they're the harder balls mm -hmm. okay. i think it's a priority that we need to jump on you know uh, too, i do too as far as safety goes i think they uh those uh need to be up before we even get started donnie as as soon as possible okay. I really do. Before this, um, before those kids get out there, yeah, we need we, to take care of that. Another year without mm -hmm. it. Do you want me to make an, an amendment to this throughout the week? I could probably have each and good number before then if you want to. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, That'd I doubt if we could get it done before it starts because it has to be ordered and installed. But it, we could get it maybe as soon as we could. I think they. It shouldn't take that long to get those. Well, so the, one of the problems with the, the poles that we currently have, I did, did speak with the, com the company that put them up the first time. Cost of that for them just to, to tell us if they could do it again was up around fifteen thousand dollars, but they had to check code uh, and they had to come in and make sure the poles were to code, and that's something that we had talked about before. Um, so doing that, and we talked about something different, and adding basically poles and shades over the bleacher area. That was the last conversation that we had when we flew the park. Um, that could probably be done sooner. Um, the ones with the poles, if we leave those poles up. You know, going through the bidding process, if we started today, it would take a couple of months by the time it yeah. got here. Yeah, that's true. But and it's not just bleachers, it's it's just people walking around, minding their own business, eating a hot dog and... When does baseball season start? Um, it starts the first week of April. April. Mr. Woods, are any of these items, budgeted items, or this is, okay. Okay. Um, budget money typically goes for repairs. Um, it doesn't usually include any of the replacement equipment. Do 
Anyone else with questions? I know I, I talked with Mr. Roden and you have enough money in as in concession account that I actually cover all of this. Mm -hmm. So he has the money if we're in which yeah. account is it? Concessions. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with paying it through that. Okay. And so so if no one else has any questions, we'll move all this to next week's meeting. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, number five, discuss the DRA funding request. Mr. Miller. I feel like I played phone tag with you for a week. <laughs> okay. So this forty thousand dollars is just to go to buy the track that uh, we spoke about over the phone. Okay. I have the property listed, but uh, just for the sake of you know confidentiality, I'm purchasing right. the property. Right. Right. Anyone else have questions for Mr. Miller on this this fund request? Holden, make sure you looked at all of it. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I think uh, yeah. the 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 DRA came to us a year or two ago and asked for this amount of appropriation, and we said that uh, I, I believe we said that uh, we would we might would donate if there was a need, but at that time it was just money to sit in the bank. They seemed to have a. Uh, a building that they could purchase and, and improve and improve now. Okay. And that property, or when will you break even on that property? The one, uh huh. So the lease is for seven years, and I just did a loan amount. Okay. So the lease goes for some of the life. Okay. Just for the renovation. Yes. The purchase is just money to be in the bank. Mm -hmm. So the renovation would be large, so that would be breaking even. Yes. And they have an extension to extend the additional years at the same rate. And then at the end of the 10th year, we'll renegotiate it. Okay. So you're good for 10 years on that one, for sure. They're, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the only yes. thing about that building, I'd like to see the, the side of the building on the west side we, painted. We actually approved um, a contractor getting the contractor to, to come back out and do it, but we had approved the work and we approved that full certain budget. Uh, the problem is we didn't know if we could take that off because it has a four little bridge. Right. Anyone else having questions or anything else for Mr. Miller on this property? No questions, we'll move out to next week's meeting also. Okay. 
All right, that'll conclude the meeting. There's no delegation tonight, so we'll go to reports. Mayor? Uh, I don't have anything tonight, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. And Ms. Frederick? I wish Parker was still here. I'd like to tell him, you know, personally, thank you for what he did, and all the police officers are always so helpful, and do appreciate them, and all the responders, but since he was here tonight with that, tell him one more time, thank you. Maybe he'll watch this. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Mr. Ashburn? I don't have anything. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Tolliver? I don't have anything. Thank you for coming, though. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Dahl? I don't have anything. Thank you. Okay. I've got a few things here. Um, reminder, of course, next week's a meeting, um, just a regular meeting. But as far as March goes, uh, March 4th, we'll do a work session and meeting because the next week, March 11th, is the... Uh, NLC conference and so there's I want to make sure anybody who's will wants to go to that can so that conference is in so we'll do a work session and meeting on the 4th no meeting on the 11th a work session on the 18th and a meeting on the 25th of March so but I have one other thing Gene Gene I'm already, I'm already <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it moved Council kind of went in together, and uh, I know this ain't your big man party and all that, but we just wanted to. We went in together. Now that's from all of us. <laughs> uh, thank all y'all for coming out tonight. That'll conclude our work session. We're adjourned. <laughs>